Welcome back to Pumse with Master AJ. In today's video, we're going to talk about freestyle presentation score. This score is based off of four points from a total of 10 points. So if you remember, your technical score is worth six. That means this one is worth four, which is reversed from recognized. So understand the difference between your technical and presentation in freestyle and understand the difference between your technical and presentation in recognized. So in freestyle, we say the presentation score is based off of four different categories. Each category is worth up to one point. Okay, category one, creativity. Points may be awarded based on the creativity of the actions and the components of the Pumse. This basically means they don't want to see sections of Teguk's or Black Belt forms the entire routine. They don't want to see a line of choreo, they don't want to see a line of Paljung or Pyongwon or Kumgang or Chiljang. They want to see what you can do with your techniques that you know. So being creative in your form is going to help boost your presentation score. Um, the other thing they really look for is how much your form stands out to other competitors. So how unique is your form? Is it something that has been done before or something that hasn't been done before? Is it new? Is it old? Is it something that's been redone? Does it match your music? All of that goes into your creativity. Okay, so that's about creativity. Just make sure you're using a variety of techniques and you're also making them interesting and you're presenting them in a different light. Harmony. Points may be awarded based on the harmony and balance between different components of the pumse, music, choreography, and attire, for example. Harmony, balance, and synchrosity between or among the performers, unity, for example, shall be evaluated in the case of team and pair contestants. Okay, so I really don't understand why they brought up attire, because you're only supposed to wear a uniform. So attire aside, um, harmony and balance is basically how well does your routine match your music. Are you going for an aggressive song and then have a really soft routine? Or are you in sync with your song? Those type of things really uh, shine. So make sure that your harmony is there. Your routine and your music match the style that you want to do that best suits you. So I am known for changing my style all the time. And it's not that I don't know what style works best for me. It's that I'm trying to push myself into different styles and really become a well-rounded athlete. So for you, my suggestion is to find a style that you like most, stick with that for a little bit, really hone it so you you can develop that harmony and then you can start changing and branching out to other styles. But really try to find something that you can sell very well. In the instance of pairs and teams, they're looking at how well do you harmonize between your teammates and your pair partner. Is there a chemistry there? Or do you look like random strangers that are just now doing a form together? They have to see that connection between each other. In freestyle, it's a lot easier to have that harmony with pairs and teams than it is with recognized. Because in freestyle, you're more creative and you don't have to be doing the exact same thing the entire routine. So it's really easy to develop that harmony between you, your teammates, and the music. So remember, the music should always act like another teammate, almost, okay? Expression of energy. Points may be awarded for accurate expression of energy in the Pumse as described in Recognized Pumse above. So if you haven't seen my video and presentation in Recognized, go watch that and then come back to here. So expression of energy, we'll briefly talk about it. Uh, they're referring to is attacks strong or are they not strong? Are blocks soft or not soft? Like how well are you expressing that? Is your presence there? Are you confident in your routine? Are you showing strength? Are you showing weakness? Those type of things. So um, like I said about presence is you always want to make sure you have a strong presence, especially in freestyle. You have to own your routine. You have to own it and really just enjoy every second of it. Otherwise, judges will notice if you're uncomfortable with it. So owning your routine is really, really important, which means you have to practice it. So just remember for expression of energy, you really have to have that presence there. You really have to put on a show or act almost, especially with the type of music that you choose, you have to choose the role that you're gonna play. So think about it as creating a story. Music and choreography. Points may be awarded based on how the music and choreography contribute to the performance of the Pumse. 
Um, so this kind of goes back into the other three categories because they're all intermixed. But this one in specific, I think, is really, really talking about how well your music and choreography match, even more so than the previous ones. The other ones is just talking about like how your choreography is set for you and how your music is set for you. This one is talking about how your music and choreography are set together. So it's how well are you going to sell that? So for example, if you have a really, really harsh beat and they're really aggressive, are you gonna be really soft and go like, ta, ta. No, you have to be very aggressive. You really wanna push that out there. Um, and so you wanna make sure that that music and choreography go together, that they match together. Um, that's a lot harder than it looks because if you choose a faster song, you have to move very, very quickly. So make sure your music and choreography is set for something that you can do. Uh, and I think the other thing about choreography that they look for is to see if you're using your space and you're not just going back and forth. So having a choreography where you use your mat space and you really like show that you can move around is really, really beneficial to gaining more points in your presentation there. Okay, um, we kind of talked about deduction of points, but I'll remind you guys one more time. Remember that the freestyle routine is set between 90 and 100 seconds. If you go under or above that time limit, you will get a 0.3 deduction. So make sure you're in between 90 to 100 seconds. And the other deduction is if you are two feet out of bounds. Now I do recall at one point that it was only one foot out of bounds, you get like a 0.1 deduction. And then if you're both feet, it's a 0.3. And right now the rule book only says if both feet go out of bounds, it's a 0.3. So make sure you are current on those rules whenever you do compete. And then last thing that is not mentioned on here is that lyrics are not allowed in your music. Again, no lyrics in your music. That is not a rule that they really publicize. Sometimes they put it in the information packets, but it's not really known. So know that there are no lyrics allowed. At one point back in 2016-17, I believe lyrics were allowed, and then they weren't, and then they were, and then they weren't, and so right now your safe bet is just no lyrics. We found out the hard way, like a day before we were competing. That was very stressful. Um, if you guys have any questions, feel free to leave a comment down below and don't forget to subscribe. We'll see you next time. Bye.